is up, guys? It is Farzy here, and today we are doing a Q&A. Every single day, I get so many questions on my main channel asking me things about my life and YouTube and stuff like that. So today, I'm gonna sit back, relax, and answer all your questions. Let's begin. So the first question that I see literally all the time is, why did you start playing Minecraft and what made you want to start making YouTube videos? And it's actually a pretty funny story. Way back when Minecraft first came out on Xbox 360, my friends got it and they were like, Farzy, you should get this game. And I was like, all right, sounds stupid. Blocks, pixels, looks dumb, but whatever, I'll try it out. And I got it and I instantly like fell in love with it. I just had so much fun. The Minecraft music was just chef's kiss. And since that day, I just loved it ever since. Now, as far as YouTube goes, I ended up getting more and more into watching the OG old school YouTubers back in the day. And that made me really, really like content creation and just Minecraft YouTube. And as soon as my parents let me get a laptop and actually make and post videos, I started doing it and I was awful. I was horrible at it, uh, but I stayed with it. And over time, I became, I think, a pretty good YouTuber, I would say. I don't know. You tell me. Next question is, how long do you think you're going to stay in this hardcore world? And have you ever considered restarting? So I would say I want to stay in this world as long as I possibly can, like until I die. So it could be a long time. It could be tomorrow. I don't really know. But uh, I'd like to survive in here a little bit longer because I love this world. There's amazing builds. It's a ton of fun. So hopefully it'll be around for a long time. But for the second part of that question, I honestly thought about restarting a few different times because... When you play a world for so, so long, you do kind of get bored of like having the best tools and the best armor and everything already made. It is a little bit like repetitive at times, but I always talk myself out of it because the world is so amazing. But yeah, I won't lie to you guys. A few times I thought about restarting, but again, I never actually went through with it because I'd be dumb too. This world is awesome. Do you have any other jobs or are you a full-time YouTuber? And I'm happy to say as of right now, I am a full-time. I'm a YouTuber. Throughout my YouTube journey, I did have other jobs. I used to work in real estate and I used to sell apartments. I worked at a, a CVS convenience store. And for a brief period of time, I sold stuff on Amazon. But as soon as that YouTube money started coming in, I said, forget that. I'm going to play Minecraft for a living. <laughs> and that's a great segue into next question, which is what do you do with all the money that you've made from YouTube? Now, it's no secret. YouTubers who are successful do make a good amount of money. So I I've made a decent amount that I've saved up. I don't really buy a lot of expensive things. I did buy a car, but that was about it. But yeah, I actually mostly just save my money. I'm not a big spender. I always feel really guilty when I make big purchases. So I save my money and I actually just started investing it in a little bit. So hopefully over time, I'll make more money, which means I can do YouTube for a longer time because after all, this is my job. <laughs> but yeah, to answer your question, I save my money mostly. I don't like spending. It'll probably stay that way for a long time. What is a hobby? or interest that most people don't know about you. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't want to sound like totally wacky, but essentially, I'm really big into like improving yourself and getting rid of like mental blocks you have that make you like feel bad about yourself or make you not like do things that are good for you. So basically, I do a whole lot of like watching self-help content and like meditating and like journaling. I was very fortunate because I grew up in a nice household with a great family, but even me, I have days where I just don't feel great about myself or I just feel like down or low energy or not confident. And those kind of things can be dealt with in a healthy way and you can really get rid of those like bad thoughts and bad emotions, but you have to be able to like channel it and basically get around it and show yourself that you can be happy. That was a very long answer, but yeah, I like self-help and self-development stuff. So much so that I actually had a self-help YouTube channel like five years ago, but it's long gone, so don't try and find it. Ah, uh, memories. Getting back onto the Minecraft side of things, Farzy, would you ever start a second series like Skyblock or One Block? I'm not gonna lie to you, those really aren't interesting to me too much. But that being said, if I do ever do those, they'll be on this extra Farzy channel. I don't think I'll ever make other kind of content on my main channel besides like hardcore or just like survival Minecraft. I mean, never say never, but Skyblock, One Block, like those kind of like mini game-ish things, probably not gonna be on the main channel anytime soon. How do you get inspiration for your builds in your hardcore world? Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't sit there like thinking about ideas like, oh, can I do like 
this or this or this or this. I just kind of like live my life and let the ideas come to me. And if it's a cool idea, I'll try and like expand upon it. For example, today I was at the mall and let's say I saw like a clothing store. Maybe then I'd get the idea. Could I make a clothing store in Minecraft using like colored armors and armor trims? And as I go through the idea in my head, if it sticks and I really like it, then I'll probably make a video on it. And if it does not stick, then I guess it doesn't get made. Very simple. But to make a long story short, guys, if you want inspiration for your own videos or your own builds, don't force it. Don't try and like rack your brain. Like, come on, brain, think of ideas. You just gotta let the ideas come to you and get ideas from like the real world and nature and things like that. It sounds cheesy, but I swear that's what I do. Oh, I like this next question. What was the hardest thing you've ever built in your Minecraft world? All right, let's fly up here and take a look. Like there are a lot of big things I made that were tough, but probably I'd have to say is that heaven dimension I made. And I swear it's only for one stupid reason. And that is it took so much glass and so many quartz to make this thing that it was like so many hours of grinding. I never hated this game more than building this thing. But that being said, it's like my favorite build too, because it looks so cool. Just very hard to make. Worth it. Ah, a real life question here. It says, Farzy, do you enjoy your life outside of YouTube? Wow, we're talking about all the serious stuff today. Well, to answer your question, yes, I love my life outside of YouTube. I'm doing a great job of trying to like balance my life and become a better person and get more hobbies and make more friends. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I used to struggle with that a lot. I used to like not go out and like not talk to friends a lot and just grind videos, grind videos, grind videos all day. But nowadays I've come to realize that that stuff is really important because if you just sit there and work all day, you're going to drive yourself insane and you're going to lose your friends and it's going to be no fun for you. So yeah, I enjoy my life a lot right now outside of YouTube. Are you ever going to make a world download for your hardcore world? And the answer is 1000% yes. The bigger question is when I might do it for episode 100. I may wait till I die. I'm kind of still thinking about it, but absolutely positively. Yes, I will have a hardcore download at some point because I want you guys to play on this world whenever the time comes. And yes, guys, I see all the comments saying Farzy, we want to get a world download. I see it. I will make one for Java and Bedrock one day. I promise you. Be patient, my friends. Be patient. Have you ever had any video ideas that got scrapped at the last minute? Oh, what a great question. So the answer is yes. I've had a few videos that did get scrapped and normally it's just because like I don't think it's gonna do good on YouTube like the idea is not good enough but every once in a while there is an idea that I like but it's not like kid friendly if you guys didn't know I have a big audience of younger kids on the YouTube kids app so I try and make my content like very P not PG a very uh E for everyone I guess you'd call it ideas that like are funny to me but they're not great for like children to be watching so I'll scrap those and say I'll do that in my spare time do you play any other games games besides Minecraft and would you ever post those on YouTube? And of course, the answer is yes. I love playing video games off camera. I play sports games like Madden, NBA, FIFA. I love FPS games like Call of Duty, like Halo. So in short, yes, I love video games. But that being said, would I post them on YouTube? Definitely not on the main channel, but I have had thoughts about making like a Farzy like games channel, like Farzy other games kind of thing. But I'm not gonna lie, I probably don't have any time to make those videos because I'm already so busy. But in theory, if I do have more time in the future, would you want to see a Farzy Games channel to play like sports games and FPS games and things like that? I don't know why I'm asking you because it was a question to me. So uh, let me know in the comments. But for me, I would say one day, yes, I'd love to do that. But only if people wanted me to do it. Because I'm not sure how many of you guys like sports and FPS games. But if you do, let me know. How long does each hardcore video take to make? Now, at this point in my life, I do have editors, so it's a little bit quicker, but in general, me recording probably takes me like 20, 25 hours a week. And my editor probably works the same or more. So in total, it's probably like 50 hours a week on average for a video. Moral of the story, hire editors if you can, because it saves you a lot of time, but also you lose a lot of money. So it's a trade-off. I'm just kidding, editors. I love you. All right, all right. The question you've all been waiting for, has Farzy cheated? And the answer is no. 
no, but depending on what you call cheating. I'll say this. I have never died and respawned myself. I don't go in creative mode and spawn myself items or anything like that. But that being said, I have done things that people might deem cheaty, like using a mod called Lightmatica, where you can kind of get like a schematic of a build you want to make. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how Lightmatica works, but if you want to look it up, go ahead. I use it all the time and it is helpful for building. If you don't like it, I mean, I'm sorry, but it saves me hours of time. So, and I promise you many, many, many other of your favorite Minecraft YouTubers use it too. So don't single me out. Sorry, any other YouTubers whose secrets have been exposed. My bad. Who is the best friend that you've ever made from being a YouTuber? Okay, so I assume you mean like YouTuber friends I've made from making videos and... I have a lot of good friends from YouTube and I don't want to single someone out, but I'd say if I had to pick one, probably, probably either Jay Wisp, Not Not Brock, or my editor Blockdown. Well, I'm not going to count editors because I pay them, so it's kind of a different relationship there. But uh, as far as friends who I don't pay, yeah, probably Jay Wisp or Brock. Those guys are awesome and I talk to them pretty frequently. And just to be clear here, there are other friends I could be forgetting, so don't be like, Farza, you forgot this person, or if that person's watching and they're like, Farzi, why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I love you all. Shut up. My mind is racing and I'm being forgetful and it's really hot in my apartment. So in conclusion, I have many friends. And last but not least, the final question of the day is one I get all the time. And that is, if you had no subs, how would you grow your channel? And I assume you guys ask this because you want to know how to grow your own channels or maybe you're just curious about what I would do. But uh, I basically would say make content that you would enjoy watching. So if you like watching hardcore videos, make a hardcore series and make content, make ideas that you would really find interesting. The secret to YouTube is there is no secret. There's no shortcut, okay? You can't just like make videos and like automate stuff and like, you know, make this like YouTube channel machine. You gotta think of good ideas and you gotta execute those ideas and make people that are watching you entertain. And I get it. What I'm saying sounds very basic and simple, but it really is that simple. Make content that others want to watch, okay? If you want to look at inspiration, look at my channel, look at other big channels, but see how they do it. Think of your own ideas and just nail them, put weeks into it, and really try to make the best video you can make. And if you do that for a long period of time, months, years, however long it takes, you will eventually get there. That's a Farzy guarantee. And if you don't believe me, check out this Farzy guarantee I made to myself like four years ago when I was a small channel. Play the clip! So I currently have 9,012 subscribers. It is April 6th, 2020 and I am calling my own shot. I am going to reach 100K subscribers and I'm gonna be a full-time YouTuber. That is a Farzy guarantee. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> so, what do you think? Was I right? Listen to your boy Farzy. He knows best for you. But okay, guys, that's gonna be it from me. So hope you enjoyed the Q&A. On that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye. Ow, hit a tree. <laughs> okay, bye.